Inuits still build igloos while camping or hunting. So they usually live in small homes or um, log cabins now, but what did they used to live in? Igloos. 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 But now they use that when they go hunting or camping. It says, since seal skins dry out in heated homes, <coughs> women in central Canada prefer to work with seal skins in snow houses nearby. The Inuits wear the animal skins and furs along with modern clothing. So they do wear modern clothing sometimes, but they also wear those special clothes like what we saw in the video. I didn't see clothes. You didn't see their clothes? They looked a lot like what that guy was wearing and what this guy was wearing. They have to wear special clothes that kind of keep them covered and keep them warm, right? That's all I'm going to read from this book. Matthew, have a seat, please. Okay, so they use, they, wear, they usually wear big, furry type clothing that keeps them warm, right? And have you ever seen those hoods that have big fuzzy yeah, hats? Yeah, I have one. Yeah. That's yeah. usually what they wear to keep them warm. Yeah. Yep, there's some right there. And usually they've gotten those fuzzy materials from animals that they've hunted. So they hunt the animals and then they, no, they don't use the bones. They do. They skin the animals, so they take off the skin and make it into clothing and other things. They do use the bones for other things, but not their clothes. Yay. So. Oh, yeah. Clothes too hard. No, no hard clothes. Uh, I don't like hard clothes. What we're going to do is. Like what do they use the bones for? What do they use the bones for, Matthew? What? Wool. Ooh. Wool. That's probably a good idea, yeah. Well, they're dancing that song. We are going to fill out a flip book. So what we talked about in our video was their diet, what they eat, home, their home. Matthew, whose turn is it now? Your turn. Put on your bottom skirt for a circle song. Their music, which we talked about in the video, and their transportation, how they get from one place to another. Okay. So you're each going to get one of these flip books. We're first going to talk about their diet, okay? So you're going to open this first clip, and you're going to draw pictures of um, a few things that you learned about their diet, okay? So let's look up here for a minute. Some things that they eat. We learned this from our story, right? They used, they found berries and nuts. You don't know what, Michaela? Remember, they, let's see, let me find my page here. Remember it says, let's see here, we were on this page and it says, in the Greek Arctic, warmer Arctic summer, the Inuits could gather nuts, roots and berries, as well as hunt and fish. Remember reading that page, Michaela? No. We talked about how it's so cold in the winter that they hunted and fished a lot, and then in the summer they would find roots, berries, and nuts, and then animals that they hunted and fished, yep. So that, that's their diet. Do what? It is still pretty cold, but it, they do have a summer. They do still have the season summer. It gets a lot warmer, but it doesn't get like our summer where we have 100 degree weather, right? It doesn't get like that up there, up in those areas and down in those areas. Okay, so what you're gonna do on this first page, guys, are you listening? You are going to flip open this. You're gonna choose two of these things, berries, nuts, roots, or animals they have hunted or fished for. You're gonna choose two. And you're gonna draw a picture of that. Draw a picture of two of those things. And make sure you label it. So if you choose berries, what you're gonna do is draw some type of berry. I chose a raspberry. You could do a strawberry. 
You could take a red, I don't have a red, take a red crayon and make a strawberry like this. And then make the green on top. But you're also going to label it. So under here, what would I put if I wrote a strawberry? If I wrote a strawberry. Berries. I would write the word berries. Okay. You're going to choose two of these. And you're also going to color the picture and write the word underneath. How many are you going to choose? Two. Two. Everybody's getting a lap book. We're just working under this first lap. Once we're finished with that, we're gonna all come back to the carpet and do the next lap. Okay. Got it? Okay. Go back to your desk and I will pass out. Yep, we're gonna do them. Yep, camera. Do you have a question? Well, I'm gonna Choose to draw a picture and label it.
Here's your two um all the rest are two choices here. Since there's only two choices here, we're going to write both of those under the next flap, which is homes. Okay? So you're going to flip it open, make a crease so it's easy to write, and you're going to write igloos and log cabins. You're going to draw a picture, label it, and color it. Okay? Now, these pictures are trickier to draw, so I'm going to help you out with these. Igloos. We saw mm -hmm. igloos in the video, right? Mm -hmm. We saw those igloos. They are, oh, sorry, Matthew, shaped like this. It's really easy if you think of it like a rainbow. So, you're going to make a rainbow. Draw a line at the bottom. <coughs> Then you're going to make a smaller rainbow, just like Kayla said out here. That's kind of their entrance. And you're going to make a line connecting that and that. Sorry, that's that. You think it's fine, guys? I just messed up right there. And you're going to do that. Okay. Then you're going to make the lines. They look like bricks, don't they? Yeah. The, the snow patch. The little ice. So you're going to do the lines like this. You're going to make it striped. Yep, Matthew. This is connected to that. Yeah, it is kind of. You could do that if you'd like to, but I'm going to make a little entryway for my igloo. You're going to make stripes on this too, right? And then you're going to draw lines down to make bricks. I'm going to make my bricks kind of staggered. So if the bottom row has two lines there, I'm going to draw one line in the middle, and then one line there, and one line there. And then next row up, one in the middle of each. 